Created by Ananya Banerjee, Adhura starring Ishwak Singh and Rasika Dugal in the lead roles is finally released on Amazon Prime. As the show is finally released on the streaming platform, we thought this would be the perfect time to discuss if the show is worth your time or not without spoiling it. And yeah, while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel, it helps us a lot. Thank you and let's move on. The series is a horror thriller and it is about a school called the Nilgiri Valley School surrounded by the mountains and what secrets are hidden inside this colonial age building. The show begins in the quiet and serene valley of the Nilgiri Hills and Din Vyas of the school is found mysteriously dead in his quarter. The Hindi teacher Chandra Prakash finds his dead body completely warped and twisted inside his apartment. The school is now being haunted by a supernatural being and some dark secrets are taking place inside its thick walls, like bullying and adultery. This much was clear from the trailer and the official synopsis. Now let's talk about how the series actually turned out to be. Well, if you ask me, the series is a decent addition to Prime's Indian library. The showrunners take us inside the secluded setting without wasting a single second. And the series directly jumps into action the second it appears on the screen. The screenplay is decent enough but the story is mostly character driven and does not rely on the plot or the scary factor too much. Most of the characters do not get to a different point or mental state by the end of the series and throughout its runtime their ideologies and convictions are never questioned. Only the character Supriya played by Rasika Dugal has a proper character arc. She understands the wrongdoings of the school influenced by some corrupt trustees who want to run the establishment with powers bought with money and from questionable works. Even the character Vedan's father directly throws it at the dean's feet. Ishwak Singh plays Adhiraj Jaising, a man who has been through a lot in his high school days but he was good in every sector of school activities thus he became the captain of his class. He lost his parents at a young age but with the help of his best friend Ninad, he overcame his problems. He became a professor in the USA and came back to India to overcome his fears and reunite with his best friend as he lost contact with him for personal reasons. His performance is good enough but nothing extraordinary that we can remember his portrayal for a long time. The conviction or a genuine drive was missing from his character which could have enhanced the series and its storytelling a little bit more. But whenever he displays his heroic side or the times he is supposed to stand up for good, we don't feel the urge to root for him. His past life was briefly shown, however that too fails to connect with us. Rasika Dugal plays Supriya, a child counsellor and she mostly shines in emotional spaces. She has her personal problems but that too was briefly shown to us and it fails to interpret her motivations in detail. Onirban Bhattacharya briefly appears for a cameo but it seems his character will be properly introduced to us in a future season. Anyway, she tries a lot in the confrontational scenes but mostly throughout the plot she lingers around like a random side character and has nothing to offer to the sequence of events. By the latter half, she becomes a motherly figure, but nothing else can be said about her character. The antagonist of the series, Ranjit and Suyash, are portrayed in broad strokes. They are portrayed as pure evil with no other traits that can explain their behavior. Their convictions were lackluster and seemed a bit generic. They bullied Ninad for being a bit different, but why they despised him so much and why they would hate his existence were not elucidated in detail. There are some hidden antagonists as well, but by the time you are in the midway of the show, you can definitely guess who it will turn out to be. Ninath, played by Pujan Chabla, is the best amongst the lot. His character is well written, like how naive he is about friendship and how he goes out of his way to help and motivate his friends. He gets bullied a lot but always keeps a calm and happy demeanor in front of everyone. After a certain incident, his transition is seamless and apt and we are wholeheartedly invested in his journey. His portrayal is extremely relatable and kept us hooked throughout the series. He is probably the only saving grace of this hot mess of a show. The writing of the series falters near the midway of its runtime when it steps up from a horror drama to a social thriller. Not that it is bad, but by the end of the series, the messaging felt more preachy than organic. The quick cuts in the supposed nail-biting sequences were tearing towards as they did not have a sense of direction. It was not clear who is going where and the CGI heavy spectacle sequences frankly took me out of the vibe the series wanted to set. But the show cleared the motivations of Supriya and turned out to be a good plot device for future events. The cinematography is good and the use of music is decent. In one of the episodes, we could see the little boy Vidan writing a term, which is similar to Jack Nicholson repeatedly writing a single phrase in The Shining. 
The scene revealed a lot about the character and worked as a nod to one of the greatest horror films ever made simultaneously. The visuals are not original and felt like the makers were inspired by Flanagan's school of horror filmmaking. The show's making inherently had a Netflix vibe attached to it, which I'm not really a fan of. However, it stands out in places like the design of the stretched corridors and white stairs of the school, which adds a gothic feel to it. The series is a decent attempt by the makers to create an original horror show in India. The vision of the makers keeps us somewhat hooked to the screen, and the show has an essence of the Midnight Club or the Hunting of the Hill House attached to it. Still, some of the basics of the paranormal and psychic abilities are not explained in detail and Supriya's subplot seems to be half-baked and unexplored and it ruins a great talent like Onirban Bhattacharjo. If those were taken into consideration, it would have been a really good series from the streaming giant. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video, do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Adhura on Amazon Prime, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and series. See you at the next one and for the timing we are signing off, farewell the person leaving is never sad, it's the person who gets left behind and I'll be back.